Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to teach you full cube notation. Now in this video, full cube notation will be moves on 3x3, slice moves on 3x3, then rotations, and then I'll even go into big cubes and I'll teach you how you can do notation on big cubes too. So let's get right into the video. So notation basically means that every move you do is recorded and there's a letter for that move. So for example, if I do this move, that move is an R move. So that's what an R move looks like. And you can see notation in L algorithms or scrambles like I have right there so for the algorithm at the top it can go like this and that's the notation I did to do that algorithm so that's what we're gonna be learning in this video so for basic 3x3 three three notation there's a move and then there's the opposite which is the counterclockwise move so this is the upper layer and for example this is a U move because the upper layer is going clockwise but then if you see this move right here it has the apostrophe but the U in it and then the U apostrophe means U prime which means U counterclockwise. So the counterclockwise one is with the apostrophe next to it. And then if it has a two like this, that means you rotate that layer twice, but it doesn't matter if you rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise because it both does two rotations. So keeping that in mind, these are all the moves you do. This is R like that. This is R prime because it's counterclockwise. L is down. L prime is up because L prime makes it go counterclockwise that way. U is upper layer clockwise. U prime is upper layer counterclockwise. D like this is bottom layer clockwise. D prime is bottom layer counterclockwise. F is front layer clockwise. F prime is front layer counterclockwise. And lastly, B is back layer clockwise. B prime is back layer counterclockwise. Now let's get into the slice moves. So the three slice moves that you use are M, E like this and then S so that's the three slice moves that I'll teach you now the M move is commonly used in U perms or corner solved edge orientations or in blindfolded algorithms and this is what an M move looks like in the H perm like this now the M move is this it's when you move the M layer down like that it also can be like that and then the M prime is when you move it up just like that so it goes like M M prime. Then this is the E move and it goes like this. That's the E move. That's the E prime. And then this is the S and then that's the S prime. You don't really use E or S moves. You basically just use M moves of slice moves on three by three. So those are the slice moves on three by three. Now we're gonna get into wide moves and wide moves are also pretty common. Here is an example of an algorithm with wide R's and it goes like this. It's wide R, U, R prime, U, r u2 wide r prime so wide r is a lowercase r on three by three and then you just follow the prime or the clockwise so a wide r it looks like this a wide r prime looks like that and that's the same for the other ones wide f wide f prime and you guys get the picture now we're going to go over the rotations and the rotations are x y and z so since you move an r like this the X move is just like the R move, it's just rotating the cube. So since an R goes like that, an X move goes like this, where you just rotate so the side on the bottom becomes the side on the front. And then the X prime would be like this. Then the Y follows the U, so since the U goes like that, it's like rotating the whole cube for a U move, and that would be a Y. So a Y is rotating, so the side on the right becomes the front side. And then a Y prime would be the opposite way. And then there's Z, and the Z one goes like this. So since Z follows F, that's the F move, and then a Z move goes just like that where you turn it like that and that means the side on the left will become the side on the top and then z prime would be the other way so you sometimes see those in algorithms otherwise you just see them in reconstructions and then this is an example of a y2 which would be like that or an x2 which would be like that so those are the rotations on 3x3 now that we got all the 3x3 notation done let's do some more big cubes and for big cubes there's the 3x3 layer which is this layer so an r move on a big cube would look just like that and then an r prime so since this is an r move this is what you call rw which is r wide and then it's also r wide prime because it's the r and then the wide layer next to it and then if you move it like this that would be 3 r wide so it's 3RW and then 3RW prime. And then at the end, you can just do a two like that, 3R wide two if you want to. And that's the way it goes for the other moves too. And then you can do 4R wide, 5R wide. And that's the same for the other moves. So this would be 4F wide and then 4F wide prime. So that's how you do the wide moves. Now, if you don't have the wide in it, then that means 3R would be like this. 
that would be 3R because it's the third layer on the right side and you're moving it up. And then you don't use lowercase on big cubes, but I will show you how you do use lowercase on 4x4. So that's basically the big cube notation right here. Now 4x4 is mostly the same with the R, R prime, the same F, F prime. And then R wide, which is RW for 4x4 goes like this. And that's the same for the other moves too. Then you might see a lowercase R too. And that would be like this. That'd be the slice layer twice. So if you see the lowercase letter, then that goes like this and then lowercase r then lowercase r prime so that's how you do it for four by four so that's all you need to know about n by n notation and for the other cubes it's the same for n by n's i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful if you have any questions please comment them down below and also be sure to like and subscribe because that supports my channel all right guys see you next time